Top 5 Deadliest Animals Number 5 The African Bush Elephant, Brute Strength The king of the jungle is a title that still misleadingly belongs to the elephant, not the lion. Neither of them lives in any jungle in Africa. The African elephant is the largest land animal on earth and has zero natural predators, man doesn't count as natural. The ones you've seen in zoos are simply not the same as those in the wild. In zoos, elephants know humans are no threat, in the wild, any animal that is not a herbivore is a threat, and elephants are smart enough to know which is which. In the wild, they are docile to a point. You may stand 100 meters from one and it will pay attention but not attack. Or it may charge you from 500 meters as soon as it sees you. Of course the largest land animal is sure to be also the most powerful, and the elephant is, but it possesses an intelligence that may rival that of some primates. This is not quite so difficult to fathom given that it has an 11 pound brain. The elephant is the grandest of the big five game animals of Africa. And although it is still legal to hunt them, a license to kill just one will cost about $50,000. Hunters are only permitted to kill solitary old bulls or cows that are not long from natural death. The money goes to conservation efforts. Despite their size, they disappear very easily in tall brush and their ears enable them to hear you long before you hear them. Their olfactory sense is extraordinary, enabling them to smell you from one mile. And because they are gargantuan, they generally do not run away or hide. Full grown elephants have zero natural predators. Nothing dares tangle with them. They can run 25 miles an hour for 100 meters, which is faster than Usain Bolt. They are hyper aggressive during MUST. MUST is the bull elephant's reproductive hormones, mostly testosterone, all of which rise 60 times higher than normal. This makes the elephant want to mate with any cow it sees, and fight everything else. Moose causes the bull extreme irritation and puts him in a severely foul mood. It is during moose that bulls have been known to charge through two direct hits from a .460 weather B magnum, ordinarily more than sufficient to drop one in its tracks, and trample the hunter to death, flip safari jeeps and gore through chassis. Six-ton bulls have been witnessed flinging black rhinoceros 14 feet over their heads, kicking down four-foot-thick trees, and snapping anchor chains used to hold them. They are smart enough to angle their tusks into the chain links and pop them loose if they cannot overpower the iron. Number 4. The African Lion, Speed and Strength The tiger is slightly larger than, and just as fast as, the lion. But the lion just edged out the tiger because the lion is the only cat known to science that works as a team with other lions to hunt. This enables it to bring down prey far larger than itself. Lions are possibly the smartest of cats, the members of a pride will stealthily arrange themselves around a herd of prey animals, and when the ambushers are in position, they signal to the drivers with a cough or sneeze, whereupon the prey is driven into an ambush and several are brought down saving the lions from a drawn-out chase. A full-grown male lion is about 6 inches taller than a tiger and weighs anywhere from 150 to 250 kilograms, averaging 400. This size makes it sound as though the lion should be ungainly, but the opposite is true. He can charge 50 miles per hour for over 100 meters. Male lions have been seen jumping four rail fences with cows in their mouths, they can spring 12 feet straight up into the air and leap 40-foot gorges. Their mortal enemy, the hyena, is no match for them one-on-one, -on -one, but even when they attack in packs, a single male lion can stand his ground admirably. Video shows a pride of lionesses being robbed of its kill by a pack of hyenas, and then killing more prey, only to be robbed again. The lionesses finally complained to the male in charge by grunting at him until he woke up. He saw the hyenas eating within 200 meters, walked to within 50 meters of them, then charged and killed nine of them before the rest fled. One swipe of his forepaw cut one in half across the spine. Lions have been known to slash the tires of safari jeeps to immobilize them and the tourists inside. To ward them off, 
The guides play recordings of elephants trumpeting. Hunting them is still legal, but conservation makes it expensive, as it should, and only old specimens or man-eaters are taken. The two most infamous remain the Tsavo manless man-eaters of 1898. From March to December, they killed and ate as many as 135 railway workers in Tsavo, Kenya. They were gigantic, even for lions, measuring 9 feet, 8 inches, and 9 feet, 6 inches long, and required 8 men to carry them. Their hunter, Colonel John Patterson shot the second no less than eight times with a .303 Lee Enfield, which has power comparable to the .3006, before the lion succumbed. Number 3. Sea Wasp Box Jellyfish, Most Lethally Venomous in the Sea Everyone is always asking what animal packs the deadliest venom in the world. Here, once and for all, are the two answers. Sea life has abounded for about 3 billion years longer than life on land, and the longer nature has to evolve its animals, the nastier, deadlier, more perfect, see number 4, they get. There are many species of box jellies, but Chironex fleckery, also called the sea wasp, is by far the most notorious. It can weigh up to 4.5 pounds, 2 kilograms, with a bell that can reach the size of a basketball with 15 tentacles up to 10 feet long beneath. Its infamous venom was once thought to glow in the dark, but cannot. Instead, the venom absorbs and reflects the slightest sunlight into and out from the tentacles, giving the jelly an ethereal glow even at twilight. Luckily, this enables you to see it coming. It uses its venom to immobilize fish, and if you were to become wrapped within the tentacles long enough, it would dissolve you. At night, they simply sit on the sea floor. During the day, it hunts for shrimp, minnows, and other small fish. Sea turtles are able to eat box jellies and do frequently. They have extremely thick skin that shields them from the stings. If you are stung only slightly by a sea wasp jelly, you will not die, but you will wish you would. The pain is described as excruciating, exquisite, beyond belief. Children do not cry when they are stung. They scream. Lifeguards have claimed that simply cutting off the limb that has been stung would hurt less than leaving it attached. If you were to be wrapped up in the jelly's tentacles, which happens quite often off the northern coast of Australia, the kinetocytes and the venom would stop your heart in three minutes. That is 180 seconds. This assumes you do not drown before escaping the sea, because the venom also shuts down the brain's communication with the muscles. The sea wasp has killed 63 people since 1884, most of them off Australia. Its range extends at least into the Philippines, to Malaysia. Number 2 Inland Taipan, Most Lethally Venomous on Land The inland Taipan must not be confused with the coastal Taipan or the central Taipan, all three of which are highly venomous. The inland Taipan, also called the Fierce Snake, for its venom, the small-scaled snake, and the two-step snake, averages 6 feet long, with a maximum recorded of 8.2 feet. They are extremely shy and always try to escape any large animal's presence. It is only by cornering one that it bites. The median lethal dose of its venom is 30 micrograms per kilogram. It injects an average of 44 milligrams per bite, which is 44,000 micrograms. It can inject up to 110 milligrams. The snake has, however, never actually been known to kill a human. This is because its habitat is in the center of the Australian outback, where very few humans ever bother to venture, and also because you have to work very hard to make it bite. Its diet consists entirely of rodents, and it does not strike once and then wait for the prey to succumb. It bites up to eight times to hasten the process. The venom itself is comprised of typoxin, named after the snake. This is one of the most powerful natural toxins ever known, and stops the brain's communication with the muscles, causing death by asphyxia. Antivnin is 100% successful, provided that you don't have 200 miles to travel to a hospital. A bite on the calf, injecting 44 milligrams, 
will drop a 200-pound human within 300 meters of running or 45 minutes of resting pulse. Herpetologists have claimed that, provided it were devenomized, the snake would make an outstanding aquarium pet given its docile temperament. Number 1. The Human, Only Evil Animal Have you noticed that most history books divide years among major social, political, or disastrous events and that the lion's share of these are wars? In 200,000 years of the modern human species history, our personal history, the only thing we've been able to do consistently well is kill each other. All animals fight, but only humans wage war. We are the only species that has ever existed on Earth to have attempted the elimination of entire species. And we are always getting better at it, always pushing scientific knowledge, and almost always one of the first things for which science is put to use is the invention of new methods of murder. We do it so well that we cannot even face ourselves when we consider it. We devise euphemisms, especially in time of war, it's not murder, it's combat, or defending our freedom. Target neutralization, justifiable homicide, soldiery, just following orders. The human is the only animal ever known to be capable of revenge, hatred, or sadism, and we are intimate with all three. We kill for every reason. Black powder was originally invented by Chinese alchemists looking for the elixir of life, then used as a means to set off fireworks for amusement. That didn't last long. Now it is more commonly called gunpowder. The Wright brothers pioneered human aviation for the purpose of enabling aerial warfare, because in their opinion this would make national invasions impossible, and would thus negate all warfare in the first place. Wishful thinking. Tesla envisioned his death beam for the same purpose. Einstein had no idea his special theory of relativity could be used to split atoms for the purpose of killing people. When Robert Oppenheimer and Enrico Fermi explained to him what was being done at the Manhattan Project, he burst into tears. Consider all the kind hearted, non violent people through the ages Jesus, Gandhi, Martin Luther King. What do we do to them? Hate them, harm them, kill them out of spite. The human is an unnatural animal because of all this. It does not fit into any environment, except perhaps the urban environment.